Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of our Nether Roof Survival Challenge. Now in the first video, we just talked about the challenge and how to get started. So in this video, we're actually going to get started. And luckily, we spawned in a good place where we can actually get some resources to begin with. So I'm going to put all the challenge information there on the screen right now. And we're going to go ahead and get started with chopping some of these trees down or the fungi down. And oh, some some brown mushrooms to begin with here and we also have quite a tall tree here that's actually a really good start but we're gonna get this one and we're gonna go ahead and get started on making a few tools out of this one right here so what we can do from this is convert all that and get our crafting table and we can make some sticks and from there we have the ability to make an axe which is what we're going to need unfortunately the tool for the warped block here is not yet in existence in this snapshot but we can make it work without it well i'm going to continue cutting some trees down here but we have some mushrooms of both varieties over here and we're going to go ahead and gather those up and make a few bowls and we'll probably leave one or two just in case we ever come back this way for them to spread some more. And this will be our food source for a little while. We're well on our way to being able to survive the roof of the nether for quite a bit. And this should be fun. So if we can do this and place that down and we can take some wood to make a bowl. And then we can also make some food. Now I did take some fall damage uh before so we need to go ahead and eat and also if you can see in my inventory we've made some ladders which is going to make it easier to chop some of these larger trees all right so we've gathered most of this i left the warped warp blocks because we have, almost have nine stacks and that's just going to take a lot of time so what i'm going to do is hit my f3 screen and then hit a screenshot just in case we need some of those blocks and we'll know where to come back to uh, but my guess is we're going to find a whole lot more along the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'll leave this area and hopefully we'll find a crimson forest biome with some trees in it as well. So let me do some walking. Okay, well I found uh, quite a few mushrooms and things on the way to keep us sustained. But we finally did find a crimson forest and, which provides us with the red nether wart and the vines here, uh, the crimson stem block. And of course we get more of the shroom lights and also the variance of the block so what i'm going to do is spend some time chopping down these here and because this block here is going to be very useful for us in the future farming i finished clearing out the blocks from the original crimson forest we found but it seems that i have found a mother load of resources here and so this might be an adequate place to set up shop as there's a ton of stuff to mine, and that's going to be what we want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a little bit of a base station. Not necessarily going to go to building right away, but we do need to put down some chests so we can mine because we don't have... Oh, that color changed. We don't have enough room in our inventory to do anything else. So I'm going to convert this and make what chest I can and then that'll give us room to do some more but yeah my goal my plans from here going forward are to find an actual soul sand valley and make a little farm over there so it turns out that actually there was a soul sand valley right here in the middle of this area we settled down in so we're gonna use it to build a farm and build a farm for what you may ask and well that is a skeleton farm actually so we can get some bone mill and I'll explain more about that here in just a second skeletons in here finally I've been uh, increasing the size it seems as if the the inability for them to pack spawn in the way that I've set it up has decreased the number of spawns not to mention we're really high up in the world even at the roof of the nether so that's going to slow things up a bit anyways and also you know it's canceling the gas spawns that could happen here so it's kind of a 
you know, it's just going to happen when it happens here. But so what we've done basically, uh, and this is the safest way to do it uh, so that we're not getting shot, is we've got a half block gap here at the skeleton's feet for us to whack at them. they got a full block to spawn on and then, you know, the space they need to spawn in. And then that way we can reach them and get the drops and we can just build layers all the way up to top, to the top. And I also want to go up all the way to the top. There's actually another smaller spawning area up there just in case something happens to spawn while we're up there and uh, or while we're climbing up. So as you can see there, it's basically the same principle. It's just a little more enclosed. And then over there, we've got a stair step up to 256. Uh, no point in going all the way to the top. But anyways, we're going to collect some more stuff as it spawns in we've got 13 of these so far well guys as you can see i have cleared quite a bit of this area out and we've also put several more layers onto this farm and it's necessary because the spawn rates for the skeletons seem to be pretty low especially with this farm configuration but for me this is the thing that's going to be the safest for killing them without dying now we've got a ton of resources at this point uh and yeah, so that's a good thing. And you may ask yourself, why in the world did I build a skeleton farm first? Well, we have access to the fungus from the fungus from pigment bartering. So once we get to pigment bartering, we can get the things that we need to grow these trees and that particular tree over there. And we'll be able to make these resources farmable, but only if we have access to bone mill. So now we have access to bone mill. I've also got armor now, feather falling boots and leggings and a bow of all things. Uh, I accidentally killed an enderman because I made him mad at me. And with this resources, we have access to another block that we didn't have before, the bone block. And we should be able to make a couple of them here. I'm going to have to keep farming the resources here to get more of these because I want to use these in our first build. So we'll end up doing this, this in the next episode. But we do have 15 of them. And our next build, or our build is going to be over here actually. I've kind of laid out a shape. And I just need some more bone blocks. And that's going to take a little while. I'm actually going to keep adding to that platform. Oh, so listen to that new sound. I, that's new. <laughs> that's very cool. I like that sound. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to end up building this with the bone block and with these warped warts. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. And yeah, so what I want to do to finish up this episode to keep us secured because I've actually went through quite a bit of our mushrooms here. We're down to 26 browns, and I must have put the red ones in the chest, is make a small uh, mushroom farm, and we can search around all we want to, but for now, this seems like a good location. We've got all the biomes right here close together, and we might as well make it so that we can, you know, we can basically, you know, stay in this area as much as possible one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i don't know what biome we're in exactly at the moment but what we're gonna do is we gotta find the red mushrooms um well i guess i'm gonna have to go find some red mushrooms because i must have dropped them or something i'm not sure well, this is not good. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to do that, and then we'll make a red mushroom farm, or a mushroom farm over here. And we were in luck. There was a few mushrooms here nor nearby, and that's another reason why we should farm them, because that gives us the opportunity to not need to go hunting for them. And there is still a ton of these trees. So basically what we're going to do is just plant a mushroom every other here. And that'll probably be good. That's four browns and a red, two reds, three reds, I mean. And we will break this down and we'll leave it at this size. So what we're going to do is just bring this up. And 
this up. And when we break that out, that's allow these mushrooms here to either spread down or up. And we'll cover this and we'll know not to, uh, to affect these mushrooms at all. Which will be good. Tap this end and that end. That and that. Then I will just cover I will cover all of these with half slabs here. And then around all of this, prevent anything from spawning on the top. It might be possible that hoglins, a few hoglins might spawn right here, but that will be okay. Now what we're going to have to do is come back uh, occasionally and check what mushrooms are here and break them off so that they'll keep spreading. Well, all right, guys, this will be the end of the episode. Check back later for part number three, where we'll get into farming other things and get into continuing our build back there. And maybe we'll get some more armor between now and then. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think. And if you have any ideas towards this series, please let me know. I would love to use them and to share them with the rest of the community as well. Anyways, guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.